good morning. This is Saturday, April 24th, 2010, and we are at the Second Baptist Church at 2412 Griffith Avenue. Tell us a little bit about the history of Second Baptist and why we're why it's important for this to happen. Second is the second oldest black congregation in the city of Los Angeles, founded May 13th, 1885. Why is Second important? Second is not just a sacred space. Second, in 1926, 1928, hosted the first of three NAACP conventions. It hosted again in 1942 and 1949. In June of 1955, J. Raymond Henderson invited a young PhD, the pastor of the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church, Martin Luther King Jr., to preach his first sermon on the West Coast. Dr. King preached his last sermon here three Sundays before he died in March of 1968. This church has been at the heartbeat of the NAACP and the Civil Rights Movement in Los Angeles. This is a central part of the history of Los Angeles, Black Los Angeles. Bill Elkins was a is a parishioner here, Johnny Cochran Jr. is still a parishioner, and Johnny Cochran Jr. was also very active in this church. And we are at the beginning ceremonies to commemorate their 125th anniversary. My name is Warren Foster and I've helped them to catalog and put together their archives. And I put this conference together on how the church is looking at its past and looking to its future. And uh, we've had about 75 participants. Um, and it's been a wonderful day and I'm very pleased that it's come the way it has. Now, you personally are doing some historical uh, writings about Los Angeles. I'm Tell us writing, a little bit about that. I am writing a book on the secular role of eight first black churches. First AME, Second Baptist, the New Hope Baptist Church, Wesley Chapel, Westminster Presbyterian, St. Philip's Episcopal Church, um, Lincoln Memorial Church, uh, Congregational Church, and the People's Independent Church of Christ. These churches were important in the political and social formation of Black Los Angeles between 1910 and 1950. I have um, oral histories from over 60 people born between uh, February 19, 1905 and September 11, 1944. Uh, these people uh, have been instrumental in my understanding of life in Black Los Angeles. Can you give me uh, any thoughts about uh, the close-up, any thoughts about your participation and what this actually means to the preservation of uh, the history of uh, Los Angeles? Well, I think, I hope that I'm getting African Americans to understand the value of both history and preservation. 